Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added either a drop-down field or a text field to a form, you can double-click the field to open either the drop-down properties or text field properties dialog boxes. You can use the tabs that appear within this dialog box to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the dialog box to apply the settings. In this lesson, you will learn how to set the properties that appear on the Validate tab within these two dialog boxes. Note that these settings only appear on the Validate tab in the respective dialog boxes of drop-down fields and text fields. You can click the Validate tab to approve the field input from users of the form by comparing it to a list of acceptable values or by running a custom validation script. If you do not want the field's input to be validated, then leave the Field Value is Not Validated option button selected. If the field is formatted as a number or percentage on the Format tab, then you can enter an acceptable range of numeric values to allow by selecting the Field Value is in Range option button. Then enter the lowest acceptable value into the From field and the highest acceptable value into the To field. Now to validate the field by using a custom JavaScript to apply field validation, you would select the Run Custom Validation Script option button and then click the Adjacent Edit button to open the JavaScript Editor dialog box. You can type a JavaScript into the large white text field shown here, or you can copy and paste a JavaScript into this text field. You would then click the OK button when finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.